this is another quick video. Um, I was asked in the comments about the tool I made to hold the fan. I think I did it, but I couldn't fa actually find uh, the video. I couldn't even find it myself on uh, on YouTube. But anyway, I know I did it. Yeah, I think I integrated it with another part of the video, and it wasn't very clear. So this is the tool here, and this will hold your fan pulley whilst you use a 32 millimeter key to get the nut off the pulley. So let me explain how it works. And there is a reason why it's a funny shape, but I mean I made it out of old scrap metal. Let's have a look down here at this 300 TDI. So there's the pulley. This is long enough to hold these bolts here, if you see what I mean. That's all it does. It'll slip there and hold those bolts while you get in with your 32mm key and pull those off because let's, let's back out. I can't, I'm, I'm stuck against the wall here, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. There's bloody things all over the place today. Look. Anyway, so when you've got that on and your fan, you'll have enough leverage to break off that, um, that thread without hammering it. Hammering it's a really bad idea because these flange bolts here are pretty fragile and also you're not doing the bearing any good by hitting bearings. So what is the measurement of this? Well, there. <laughs> it's actually uh, 47 millimeters, all right? 47 millimeters in here, all right? That's it. Now you might, uh, it's easier to do it a little bit small. I'd do it to 46 and then if you want to make one, 46 millimeters and just file it down until it slips over the bolts because, oh, here we go again, if we look at the bolts, oops, damn camera, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. where have we gone, there we are, we just have to fasten up the thing, right, so sometimes you, don't, you can't see if the bolts you know, the flats are on the outside or the point of the bolt is on the outside. You see what I mean? So you don't know if the pointy bit of the bolt, the corner, is there. So you've got to play around with it a little bit to make it fit. Do you, does, is that clear? Maybe I should get a bolt and show you. There's a big bolt so you can see this look. So what I'm trying to say is, it, in a perfect world, that tool would go down the flats of the bolt but sometimes they're turned out like this you see what I mean when they're tightened down and this pointy bit sticks out so you just make them just so they're a nice snug fit if you see what I mean now there is a reason why uh, they are this thick it's uh, I think it's let's have a look and see what the thickness of the steel is because there was a reason why I made it that thick it is 6.3 millimeters thick if you've got 6.3 millimetres and then you get your 32 millimetre spanner, an old one, just or a cheap one, really cheap off Amazon or somewhere like that, and grind it down till the spanner is, well I've got this at 7.8 millimetres, alright? By doing it like that, when you've got your fan and your pulley together, there ain't no room for these to slip out if you see what I mean. They're going to be nice tight fit together. Thus, if you see what I mean. They're going to be a nice tight fit so it works really really nice. Now, you can have a double edged sword with this spanner, this 32mm one. Because at the other end, if you grind the flat off here so there's no lead See, there's a nice big lead here, but you never really need it. If you grind it flat so the, the uh, part of the internal is, uh, hasn't got the lead on, when well, I can spit it out, sorry, it's been a long day. Uh, and then warm it up so this is parallel, because usually the spanners are at an angle like that, aren't they? It's an excellent tool for getting sump plugs out of 300 TDIs, you know, R380s, brilliant. Because you've got plenty of leverage and also you can hammer it here and knock the sump plugs out because sometimes they're a bugger to get out. You know the drain bung? There you go, another top tip. Right, see you later.